one of the juveniles pulled them out and pointed the gun at us. Uh, I don't know how many of you had the opportunity of being on the wrong end of a firearm, but it's not a pleasant situation. It's a cycle of crime that is crippling several neighborhoods in Jacksonville. Arlington has seen a number of shootings just in the last week, and the people who live there had their chance to speak out on what they believe will make communities safer. Here's On Your Size, Haley Harrison with their story. I never remember having so many shootings. Arlington resident Ramsey Salem simply wants to get to the bottom of why the neighborhood he has called home for almost 20 years has taken such a quick and violent turn. And Salem is not alone. So we can talk about crime for months and years, but we must talk about solutions. Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams says the majority of what Arlington is seeing is issues with narcotics. In fact, 70% of crime in the city is drug related, he explained during the District 1 Town Hall Monday night. There's been a lot of increased effort and energy in Zone 2 because of these numbers. So. The sheriff says 150 officers are designated to Zone 2, the area Arlington is in, but admitted to one resident that JSO patrols aren't like they used to be. I have less policemen today than I had 10 years ago. You know, there is a workload issue sometimes. And the message local leaders repeated to Arlington residents at a news conference Friday. See something, say something. Help JSO get suspects off the streets. People are afraid to call in. But Roberta Thompson says community members need their own outlet to go to police. People are reticent. They will not call the police. They will not call municipal code enforcement. They call me as a shield. I am tired of being the shield. William says residents can ask to be anonymous when they call the Zone 2 command post directly or can take advantage of Crime Stoppers. The sheriff says he'll be announcing several new programs Tuesday, one related to people carrying guns illegally. Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.